the library is a special building, you know, so the problem was to put 3.5 million books into a storage retrieval, automated storage retrieval system, and to create a reading room. The last idea I had and was just literally when we went to that uh, interview, I said you could book the book below grade and build a nice glazed reading room, which is very pleasant, uh, gives you an orientation, and probably makes the least intrusion on that remaining open space on the campus and uh, provides a, a, a real contrast to the other buildings, which were all different characters. The best buildings are always the ones which derive their aesthetic you know, their appearance from what they house. I found actually it was a very good thing that we entered the building from the existing building and not from the outside. A building like this doesn't actually want any entrance. It's, it's not a big building, but it's an important building. It's very refined. This is a place where science, physics, the liberal arts are taught. One of the best institutions where it's taught and studied. Uh, that they believe in the advancement of knowledge, especially in science and physics. You never get to the end, because there is no end. And I believe in architecture is the same way. And so, so this building stands for belief of the leading forces in this institution, that this building uh, contributes to this advancement of knowledge. You have light, you, you experience the different seasons, you know, I mean, it's a beautiful thing when, when it snows and then suddenly the, the, the thing actually before the snow melts off. The, the building has so many changes. Teamwork is, 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 is very important in architecture. And then making the building work, the most important uh, was the structure engineer, you know, you know, which is an engineer we're working German engineer, Werner Sobeck. He has very much influenced our work, my work, since then, as I influenced his engineering. The mechanical engineer, obviously the conditioning played a role, and as you see, the, you, know, you don't see ducts, you don't see any mechanical equipment. The lighting was a very important aspect. The interior designer we worked with uh, is in London, he used to work for us, and. Uh, he designed all the furniture. Well, this was the real advantage of putting the books below grade. Uh, they need a, a very specific uh, humidity. They, they need a constant temperature of about 60 degrees. So uh, the earth is the best insulator. This, this building isn't the result of an aesthetic concept, but it's a result of really applying a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience not only what you know in the past, but also pushing the boundaries and, and exploring new things, looking into the future. Like any good building, it's the context, it's the program, it's how you plan it and how you construct it and how the appearance of the building is the result of all these efforts. So it's very technical, it becomes then a piece of art if you're successful.